Everybody, I miss you, but I'm excited for Star Wars Week at Kids Blast. Get your Star Wars stuff and get ready to have a good time. I hope you guys got your lightsabers ready. All right, here we go. This is what we're gonna do with our memory verse. We have a new verse to go along with our new stories about creation and learning more about God and his creation and how he made everything in how many days? What number does this say? Six, good job. In six days, the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, the water, and all that in them is. And what did he do on day seven is he rested. Yeah. So this is what we're going to do with our lightsabers. While we are saying the verse, when you see the blue ones, we're going to slash them. All right. And Chewie's going to help me. All right. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? You got your lightsabers ready. Here we go. Ready? Exodus 20, 11. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is and rested the seventh day. Good job. Chewie, you know what? Since you have a right red lightsaber, you should slash on the red ones, I think. If you have the same thing, you can do that too. It'll be fun. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. So Exodus 20, 11, four in six days, the Lord, made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Great job. All right, this time, I want you to set your lightsaber, just set it down, okay? All right, now this time, we are going to say it all together. Are you ready? Let's just say it together a couple times because it's a new one. So I want you guys to learn it really good. Here we go. Exodus 20, 11. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Good job. All right, Chewie. I think when we get to the numbers that they should sound just like you. Let's try that this time. Are you guys ready? Here mm -hmm. we go. Exodus 20, 11, for in six. Can you do it for them, Chewy, too? You make the same noise. You guys ready? Make the same noise at home when you get to this, the number. For in mm -hmm. six days, the Lord made heaven and earth the sea and all that in them is and rested the <gasps> seventh day. Great job. <sighs> all right, let's do our memory verse game. Are you guys excited? If you have some cookies, look at these awesome cookies. All right, so you can have anything. It doesn't even have to be a cookie. But if you want to play the game with us, then grab that and come on. What we're going to do is we are going to see how many times we can stack and unstack these cookies by the time we get down to the end of our memory verse. Are you guys ready? Get ready. Here we go. Exodus 20, 11. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth the sea and all that in them is and rested the seventh day. How'd you do? Did you guys beat him? How many times? What for? Awesome. All right, let's try it one more time. Ready? Here we go. Are you guys ready? Let's see if we can beat it this time. Let's beat your own time. Here we go. Ready? Exodus 20, 11. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth the sea and all that in them is and rested the seventh day. Did you guys beat Pastor Nick this time? Four and a half. Oh, good job. 
I am so excited that you guys are here today. Are you guys ready to sing and you're excited about it? <laughs> Yay! All right, here we go. I want you to stand up and I want you to do your feet. Ready? Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. What'd you say? Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. What'd you say? For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little ears, what you hear. What'd you say? Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Blink, blink. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Blink, blink. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little eyes, what you see. Blink, blink. Great job. All right, remember our song from last week about our father in our father's house had many mansions? Chewy, do you remember that one? <laughs> yeah, let's do that one again. So get your houses ready, okay? Here we go. In my father's house are many mansions, many mansions in my father's house. In my father's house are many mansions many mansions in my father's house i go to prepare a place for you echo i go to prepare a place for you for you in my father's house are Many mansions, many mansions in my father's house. In my father's house are many mansions, many mansions in my father's house. Good job. All right. Ready? Let's do The Devil is a Sly Old Fox. He is. Here we go. The devil is a sly old fox. If I could catch him, I'd put him in a box. I'd lock the door and throw away the key for all those tricks he's played on me. I'm glad I got salvation. I'm glad I got salvation. I'm glad I got salvation I'm trusting in the Lord you guys did a fantastic job singing all right are you guys sitting up straight and tall and you ready to hear our story today we're gonna start brand new stories and I'm so excited about them because we are gonna learn how our world and how we came to be isn't that so exciting? Did you know that we don't have to wonder? It didn't just boom happen because of a big bang. It didn't happen of years and years of evolving over time. It didn't. God spoke the words and it came to be. Because Genesis 1-1 tells us, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And it's so exciting that God made everything. I bet you guys are wondering about this stuff up here, aren't you? Yeah, I can't wait to tell you because in seven days, actually in six days, God made everything. But creation was seven days. And it tells us all about it in Genesis chapter one. The very first book of the Bible tells us everything about how everything came to be. Isn't that so exciting that anybody can know all about it? All they have to do is open their Bible. It's so exciting. So what happened on the first day of creation? Well, on the first day of creation, I have an Oreo cookie here. And this Oreo cookie, if I open it up, it has stuff inside, doesn't it? Yes. So what God did on the first day of creation, everything was dark. There was nothing here yet. In the beginning, God 
and God separated the light from the dark. Isn't that so cool? And a cookie makes it even more fun because then you can eat it, doesn't it? Yeah. So God separated the light from the dark. Isn't that neat? There was nothing but darkness and all at once, God just divided it. Wow, it's so hard for our little minds to understand what God can do, but God did every single one of these things. Then on day two, look what I have right here. I have two little M&Ms. I have a blue one and I have a yellow one. Hmm, I wonder what happened on day two. Can you guess? Well, on day two, the Bible uses a big word called the firmament. And God divided, he divided the waters from the heaven. What do you think the yellow one is for? Is that for heaven? Yeah. And the blue, are you smart? That's right, it's for the water. God divided them. He separated them. So he separated the light from the dark. Then he separated the water from the sky. So then it was just water. Hmm, well, wait a minute. I'm not standing in water. How did that happen? So then comes day three. And after every day, the Bible says God looked at it and he saw that it was good. He was happy with how he made it. On day three, he did lots of stuff. He did all of these things. So on day three, he divided the water from the land. I have a little blueberry piece of cereal here, and it looks like brown on this side and blue on this side. It makes it perfect for him separating the water from the dry land and he created dry land and what is on land um it has grass so i have some little green m ms for our grass and then he also made plants i have some clover here this is a marshmallow clover how cool is that then he also made trees got me my pretzel sticks yeah those are yummy aren't they so he had he made trees and then how about like the berries that are on the bushes and even he even made like the fruit that was on the trees that have seeds inside of him what is one of those fruits that you might eat that has seeds inside of it it might be red and then it's really yummy did you say an apple if you did, good job. That's right. He made seeds inside of them. What happens when I plant that seed in the ground? What happens to that? Does it grow another tree? That's exactly how God designed it to all work. He wanted to make it where everything that he made would reproduce itself. Isn't that so exciting? It is. So I have some fruit snacks and some raisins to represent all of the fruit that he made for that. So then God looked at day three and he said, it's good. So then here we go to day four. Day four, God made the lights. Because what happens, what helps us see during the day? What gives us the light outside during the day? Did you say the sun? Good job, that's right. I have a circle cookie here. That is the, that represents the sun. Then he made the greater light, the Bible says, to rule the day. The sun is so bright. Don't ever look right at it. It can hurt your eyes. But isn't it so awesome that he makes the beautiful sun? And have you seen the sunsets? They're gorgeous. He paints a beautiful picture of the sky. And then at nighttime, what lights come out at nighttime? Did you say the moon? That's right the moon. And then oh, all those twinkly things in the sky. What are those called? The stars. That's right. They're so beautiful. The stars are my favorite. I love the stars. I used to love to go and lay outside at night on the ground and look up at the sky. If you've never done that, you should do it. Those stars are so twinkly and they're so pretty. You should see them. But God made the lights that hang up there. So he made the sun and the moon 
and the stars. Did you know that God also knows all the stars by their names? He does. That's one of the reasons why he shows us that he knows everything about you and he loves you too. Because he can count all the stars. He knows how many stars are in the sky. If you go outside tonight and you look up in the sky and you try to count all the stars, guess what? You can't do it because you can't see them all. But God knows how many there are. He knows everything. So then God looked at day four and he said, it's good. So then comes day five. Guess what he made on day five? I have some little goldfish. He did. He made all the fish in the sea. He made all the water animals. What are some other water animals? How about maybe like octopus and maybe a shark and the big whales? The Bible even says whales. And he made the birds in the sky too. So he made the fish in the sea. He made all the sea animals and he made the, all the animals that are in the sky on day five. How awesome is that? And then what did he do when he finished day five? What did he say? It is good. That's right. Good job. Then on day six, he made, and I have some animal crackers. What do you think he made on day six? On day six, he made all the land animals. So that would be like the deer and even the tigers, the polar bears. Oh, what's your favorite animal? Mine is a panda bear. That's my favorite. What's your favorite? How fun is that? That God made all of the land animals, even dogs and cats. He made them all on day six. And then God looked down from heaven and he took his hands and he formed in the dust of the ground a man. That's right. He made a man out of the dust, out of the dirt, out of the clay. And the Bible says that he breathed God, breathed into man the breath of life. And what makes us breathe and live is our heart beating. That's why I have a little heart here, a heart marshmallow. He made us, he made man a living creature. And he looked down on day six. And what do you think he said? It is good. That's right. He was happy with what he made on day six. And he decided he was done. He was done creating everything that he needed to create right then. He gave everything that he needed for right then. And so guess what he did on day seven? He needed a pillow. He rested. That's right. We have a white pillow. So he rested on day seven. And did you know that that's one of the reasons why we have Sunday? It's a day of rest. And we give ourselves that because God rested on the seventh day. Isn't that so exciting? You guys did such a great job listening. I hope you have all these yummy snacks. And when you eat them, I want you to remember and think about oh, what day did God create that snack? If you're eating an animal cracker, that was day six. Good job. You guys did a fantastic job listening. <laughs> well, Chewy, let's ask the kids. What do you call Chewy when he gets chocolate stuck in his fur? A chocolate chip Wookiee. <laughs> All right, you guys got your lightsabers again? We are going to talk about how that they are like a sword. And the Bible tells us in Hebrews 4.12, it says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Now, what we're going to talk about with that is how that the Bible helps us. It, it cuts us right where we need it. It pokes us sometimes because sometimes we make bad choices and sometimes we do things that we shouldn't do. And that's what the Bible helps us. It says, hey, stop. Don't do that. 
That's exactly what the Bible does because it gives us verses like, children, obey your parents. So what does that do? It says, stop, obey. When your mom tells you to do something, what are you supposed to do? Jump up really quick and say, yes, ma'am, mommy, and I'm going to run to do it. Because if you don't and you read that verse in your Bible, what does it do? It cuts. It says, that's exactly what you need to do. You know what else it does? It has several other verses in there, like thou shalt not lie. What is that verse? Don't you tell lies. No, telling lies is very, very bad. The Bible tells us that we shouldn't do that. What are some of those other commands that God gives us? He says, hmm, you think of one. What can you think of? Can you think of something? Maybe it's that you're supposed to forgive someone who hurts you. That's right. Forgive. So when someone does something wrong to you, maybe it's your brother or your sister, maybe they take a toy away from you or they hurt you or they do something and all at once you say, hmm, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to forgive you. I'm not going to be like that. And the word of God is powerful and it's quick. It's sharper. And it says, no, don't do that. You forgive, you choose to forgive, and you choose to love people anyway because God loved us and he forgives us, so we should forgive others. So the next time you start to do something that you know you shouldn't do, remember that the word of God has given us scripture to stop us right there and help us remember to make the good choice instead of the bad choice. I hope you guys had so much fun with our Star Wars theme. I know I had a blast with it. And I hope you guys will come back next week and we will have some more fun. Mm -hmm.